In the previous lesson, we plotted only a portion of the data. Let's add the remaining data and see how the chart updates. To do anything with a chart, you first have to select it. Click the outside edge of the chart. The blue border indicates that it's selected. Notice that when the chart is selected, color borders and handles also appear around the plotted data. Now, point to the lower right handle around the data, and when the cursor changes to this symbol, click and drag over the additional data that you want to plot. Notice that the chart updates to include this new data. Also, when you change any data that has already been plotted, for example, let's change this price per unit value, the chart automatically updates to reflect the change. Now, let's look at the various elements of the chart and how they correspond to your data. First, notice that when the chart is selected, two new tabs, Chart Layout and Format, appear on the ribbon. These are contextual tabs that contain chart options we'll explore in later lessons. When you move over a chart element, a screen tip appears to show what you're looking at. Starting here on the left, we have the vertical or value axis. Along the bottom, we have the horizontal or category axis. In this case, there is one category for each year. When you point to any column in the chart, you get details about the data points it represents. For example, this one is for the data series average price per unit for the year 2010, and the value is $425. On the right, you have the legend with the entry for each data series, average price per unit, and units sold. Finally, depending on how the data is arranged in your sheet, you might want to switch the way it is plotted. On the Charts tab, under Data, point to the selected Switch Plot button. Currently, the data is plotted to show a series for each column. In this case, average price per unit, and units sold. If you switch the plot to by row, the chart changes to show a series for each row, in this case one for each year. Let's switch the plot back to by column and move on to the next lesson where we'll add and format labels to make the chart easier to understand.